Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is Season 6, Feed the Beast, and this is Part 66. And when last I left off, I was supposed to be clearing out area for a farm, and... Yeah, I did that. Um, <laughs> I used the filler, had some problems, fixed it, and it worked out, and now I've got a place for uh, the tree farm. So, let's go ahead and make some things we're going to need for the tree farm. We're going to need a cargo manager, we're going to need a cargo distributor. So let's make the distributor first because I think it's easier. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I have enough right there. There we go. So we got the distributor. The cargo manager is going to be a little bit more annoying. We're going to need these pains, uh, which start with chest pain. So let's chest pain. This this freaking making these pains gives me chest pain. But whatever. Let's uh let's make a bunch of the wooden ones. Uh, let's just make all we can. Uh, that's all we can. Um, well, it might be enough. Let's see. Uh, so now we need the... Uh, okay, we need that one. So we're going to need some iron. And some of those. There we go. We've got 48 of those. Let's uh, let's make the large ones first. Oh! Damn it, I didn't want to make that many. Ah, oh, what a waste. What a freaking waste. I only needed 4 and I made 12. So you guys got to pay attention with this with this fabricator, man. It's like, it's big, big business. All right, whatever. Um, let's make some of these, which probably don't have any more of the smaller ones left now because we're an idiot. So let's go ahead and make some of the smaller ones. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Mm. There we go. Yeah, we're going to need more of the... Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. Now we got some of the smaller ones. Let's go ahead and make some of the huge ones. This one we could leave on. I thought we're going to have enough. Yeah, three. We still need a few more. A few more of the uh, panes. And... 16 should be good. All right, turn you off. Uh, huge, and should be enough for one more. Okay, we got a couple more, sweet. All right, so now we got all the large, now we need the dynamic pane, which is ooh, redstone and iron, okay. Ooh, redstone and iron, how many of these are we gonna need? We need four. So we're still gonna need another one of these iron panes. We are doing, we are having some waste here, but uh, that's okay. It's not, it's not a huge commitment uh, as far as, um, I mean, seven, right? It's not really a, <coughs> it's not really a huge commitment as far as the, um, the products go. So whatever, if I waste a couple, it's not the end of the world. All right, so I mean, this, this, red, this, this, all right, so we just want four of these. Okay, and one of these. Okay. Now we're ready. Turn that off. Right, we just need one of these. Um, yeah, we can only make one. Sweet. Okay, we got our cargo manager. All right, so we got our cargo manager, the, the distributor, the module cart, the tracks, and the advanced detector. Now we're going to need uh, pneumatic tubes. You know, we're going to need more pneumatic tubes than that. Uh, what is it? Brass. Brass and glass. We're going to need a lot of pneumatic tubes. I love pneumatic tubes. In case you couldn't tell. I should have a good amount of brass in here. Bronze. Copper. Well, we don't have that much brass, but it'll be enough for now. I have too much freaking obsidian. Uh, I have some ideas on what I want to do with the obsidian, but... Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. Grab that. Put that in here. Late side corded. That doesn't go in there. It goes in there for now. Alright. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, brass. Put the glass in the middle. There we go. We're also going to... Let's get these chest panes away. Um, normally I would just... 
I would just destroy these chest pains, but I might need this stuff later, so I'm not going to. I'm gonna make another. I'm gonna make a chest that's gonna be for Railcraft items. Uh, although I'm running out of room in here, I'm gonna have to just make some hard decisions here off camera. But that is not your concern. Let me um, let me grab a, a filter. Yeah, sorry about that. I got a cough. Um, what the hell did I do with all my filters? I bet you they're in here. There they are. All right, so we got the filter, we got the thing. That's enough for now. Let's just get out there and get started. We'll probably have to come back for some other stuff. Go ahead and sleep. Um, oh, wait, I did want some wood because I'm going to have a platform. Uh, but I wanted to use some different kind of wood. Let's use... Jungle wood. Actually, with the, uh, with the minium stone, I can always change it to any kind of wood I want, so it's nothing to be concerned about. Shoot, I don't have my jetpack. I need my jetpack. Alright, I'm going to grab my jetpack and go to the... Uh... Eh, you know what? Forget about cutting it. I'll be there in, in no time. So, I'm thinking this thing is just going to go around kind of like in an oval shape. I'm going to make it the same uh, as the peat bog, I guess 15 by 15. And I'm just going to have it like go around in like an oval shape. I guess. I'm, I haven't really decided yet. I kind of have a rough idea on what I want to do. But, alright. I've done a lot of work here, as you can tell. I've got the road system set up, and um, I'm going to have marble around each one of my farms. I really think it contrasts nicely with the peat bog. So, I really like the way it looks, so I'm going to stick with marble for that. And I did clear this out with the filler. I tried to clear out more, but it was, it was giving me problems, so I didn't really feel like dealing with it. Uh, do we have any marble on us? Jeez, I wish we did. Shoot. Um. All right, let's let's dig a couple pieces of marble up here just so we can mark where this is gonna end, like so. Okay, that's gonna be the size of it. Let's see. Yep, exactly the same size as the peat box. So the peat box, I believe, is 15 by 15. So let's make this 15 by 15. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Because I was counting the outside. Alright, 1, 2, 3, let's knock one of these pieces up. I'm going to need it. This is ghetto, but that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, let me make sure one more time. Oops. Freaking drill is really good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, I can't really tell with this marble. 1, 2, 3, wait, 1. Here, let's do this. So we're really marking off the corners here. Alright, so 1, 2, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Okay, so the corner here has to be uh, wooden. It doesn't have to be wood, but I want to make it wood. It's going to be kind of like a drop off area. Uh, I'm not really sure how big to make it though. Um, it's got to have enough for, I guess, three, maybe four barrels. Um, the cargo thingy. Let me just put some wood down now. Okay. So, I'm thinking barrel, 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 barrel. I can't imagine we're going to need more than four barrels. So, those are the barrels. The uh, stuff can come up from behind. Uh, the the uh, pneumatic tubes can come up from behind to go into the barrels. Uh, I can replace that with... Uh, uh, like covers and stuff, you'll say. Um, so we need a spot for the cargo manager, and that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the important part because that's where the thing's gonna be dropping stuff off. Um, it's definitely a lot more space than I'm probably gonna need, but it's okay. Uh, that's good. Uh, cargo manager, I guess, can go right. 
try here give me one minute I want to think about how I want to do this to make it look really cool I'll be right back okay I'm back and this is the design I came up with I went back and got some some uh, some marble and I used my wonderful wand of equal trade to get this thing set up and I don't know I guess that's a good route as any uh, eh, whatever let's uh let's get this thing started you know I don't think I brought any coal but that's okay I got some coal nearby uh, let's just plop this bad boy down I guess uh, like this and let's oh you know what he's gonna start um, we don't want him to start let's disable all his engines easy there chief see how his uh, the solar panel things come out all right we're gonna have to go get some coal uh, I'm thinking I might just use coal coke. I don't know. Let's grab some coal coke. Why not? <clears throat> and uh, we're also going to need some uh, some saplings, which I stupidly did not think about getting. Let me see if I have any on me. Probably not. You know what? I think I might have some in my Thomcraft room, and that's not too far. So let's uh, let's go ahead and grab some coal coke. And then we're going to go to our Thomcraft room. And we're going to grab some saplings. I do want the birch saplings. I I like those the best. And with the uh, minium stone, I can always change any wood to another wood. So it's not really a big deal. And I just have a ton of birch saplings. Um, I'm also looking at the future with biogas and stuff with a fermenter. And I'm pretty sure you can use any saplings for that. I'd, I'd be pretty surprised if you couldn't. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. And if, it, and if it does turn out where you absolutely have to have a certain kind of sapling, I can always change up the farm. Um quite easily. So uh, let's give this dude his coal coke and and um, actually give him a couple things of coal coke and let's give him some saplings. You put the saplings in the wood cutter. Uh, you know what? I don't have the... You know what? I didn't bring the, um, the fertilizer which is uh, bone meal. So let me go get the bone meal. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to restart the game to uh, help with some of the lag. So, uh, but I've got my... Uh, oh, God, it didn't really help. <laughs> I've got my bone meal, so let's uh, go ahead and put the bone bone meal in the fertilizer thing. I might have to restart the game. There's been a lot of really... Yeah, I'm going to have to restart this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've restarted the game completely. So let's uh, let's go ahead and feed this guy full of fertilizer. Let's use, let's use the rest of our bone meal. Okay, um, I think we're ready now. I think we could turn him on. So let's. Uh, you want to you want to put the solar engine on priority, uh, high priority, and put the fuel engine on medium priority. That way, it'll it'll use solar energy um, until there until it can't use solar energy anymore. All right. So while it's there it goes. They used the fertilizer. See it? See it going? Now, a lot of times when trees grow overhead, the uh, solar panels will not operate properly. That's why you need a regular engine on it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put the cargo manager here. And this thing is a mystery to me. Uh, I don't really understand how this works at all. Um, let me. I'm not going to fumble through this on video. So let me. Uh, let me. Let me look at some of these you know, options and see what I can figure out and I will come back and let you know when I've done that. Okay guys, I'm back and I have a basic understanding of the way this works now. Um, basically what's going on is there's all different color sides. There's red, blue, yellow, and green. Now you have to change the color here to the corresponding side or it won't interact with it at all. Okay, so right here I have current storage slots and I have it sent to from the cart to the cargo manager. So in it, wherever the when the wood is like stored in its uh, in the uh, you know the side chest, it's going to bring it into the manager. Then right here we have current saplings, and the saplings are going to be from the cart into the manager. And then right here we have saplings again, but this is the opposite from the manager to the cart. So he's going to come over here, drop off all the wood, then he's going to drop off the saplings, then he's going to pick up the saplings. It's pretty self-sustainable. Uh, there's some other things I can do uh, where I want to like have him pick up coal if he needs it. Um, although he doesn't seem to be using any coal, but that's good. Uh, but I'd like to, for him to be able to pick up coal if needed, but uh, that's for another time. Let's let's see if we could figure out the other parts of this setup. Where we are going to use the cargo distributor 
and we're going to put it below and see what we can find out about this. Um, okay, let me do some research on this and figure it out, and uh, I'll come back when I know what I'm doing. All right, I'm back. All right, I've made a little bit of an adjustment here because you don't need the saplings to be taken into the cargo manager and then brought back into the into uh, into the uh, the car the the cart because what's going to happen is when 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 this woodcutter thing fills up, it automatically puts the extra saplings into the side chests. So it's just going to keep the saplings until the woodcutter thing's filled up and then start dumping the saplings in the air. So that's going to be a lot easier. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you this interface properly, but that's the interface. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I went over all this. Uh, it's hard to go over it now because he's moving. So anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I've got the, the distributor here. Uh, I know that it's the yellow side, so I'm going to have uh, it pull everything out from the yellow side. And then I just put a filter underneath, and I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, screwdriver. Let me make sure I have a screwdriver. I want to make sure there's no mo monsters in the area either. It looks like I'm pretty safe in this farm area, so that's pretty cool. Um, famous last words, but I think I'll be okay. All right, so let's uh, have this facing so oops facing so the output is down and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here we're going to make sure it's going to pull stuff out and pull out some cobblestone no it didn't pull out anything what did i do wrong it's pulling out of the yellow side that is the yellow side right um hold on Cargo manager. There. Now, if the red... Yeah, it should be the yellow side. That's kind of weird. Alright, so all out of the yellow side. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Um, yeah, that's supposed to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. It doesn't look like it's doing anything to the filter. Let me try, uh, let me try on the side. No. It's not doing anything to the filter. That's kind of weird. Is that hooked up right? Let's see. If, if a pneumatic tube hooks up to this, then it's hooked up right. If it doesn't, then it's not. Okay, it's definitely not hooked up right. I don't know what I did wrong. Um... Yellow side. Oh, right click to remove. I'm pretty sure it's the yellow side. I don't know what... Blue? Red? Oh, it's not the yellow side. Okay. It's facing up. So maybe up... I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to kind of guess. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. It was the uh, red side. I, I don't know why... Um, oh, you know what happens is when you place it down, the, the, the sides line up automatically. That's why I wasn't working with the yellow side. So, there's... That's the red side. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right at all. Let me see. Nope. Not doing it right. There's purple? What's the purple side? It's the purple side? Let's try the purple side. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna do some more research. Alright. Purple side. There we go. It was the purple side. Okay. Fair enough. So now we're going to run the pneumatic tubes over to here. Um, we're going to need saplings, wood, and apples. So we're not going to need this many of these barrel stand-ins. Alright, so we got that right there. We can have this go down. We'll have it go down another one. 
and over here. And hook up into here. Let's uh let's cover some stuff up. Okay, and we'll have the pneumatic tubes coming over here. And connecting in right there. Okay, now we just need some barrels. And the cool thing about this is it's going to be really easy to make barrels now, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, we could probably make some right now. If we have our minium stone, which I thought we did. Yes, we do. All right, let's go ahead and make some barrels. We're going to need a lot of barrels anyway. Um, okay, let's do this. Like that. Like this. See, if you want to, if you want to use a lot of barrels, the tree farm is pretty much, you know, almost a necessity. Unless you're just a sadist and you're just going to do it all yourself. If you're doing all, if you're doing everything like that yourself, though, you're really, you're really missing the point of feed the beast. It really is to automate stuff. Crap, I never reset my, my timer. All right, so whatever. Let's finish this up, and then I'll just stop the video whenever I'm done. Okay. So now we're going to need one piece of wood. Oh, you know what? I don't get apples from these. Maybe I should do regular trees. It's kind of lame I don't get apples. Um, is it worth it, though? I mean, I guess it is. You can always use the minium stone to change stuff. Um, mm. Give me a minute. I'm going to think about this. Okay, I'm back, and I have, uh, I've taken care of everything. It's all, uh, he's all set up to do regular saplings, so let's turn him back on. High and medium. All right, there he goes. So now we're going to need, <coughs> excuse me, now we're going to need a good old timer. So let's, um, Probably just put it right there. I'd like a switch to turn it on and off. Let's see. Let's see what we can come up with here, guys. Um. All right. So that uh, the time we can go there. This switch come over. Here. Let me um. Let me pause the video and figure this out, and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back, and I kind of have a design here I like. Um, I broke apart the uh <coughs> the pneumatic tubes. Just for the time being, because I don't want this to pump yet. Um, I got the timer right there. I got a, a, a cover right there for a reason. Um, this is going to be the switch. Let me see if I can find a lever. All right, so the lever will go right there. And we will use our red alloy wire to connect it like that. And now whenever I switch that, it should turn this on. Um, possibly. Let's see. Let's connect this up and see how this works. Alright. <clears throat> right now it's on. Now it's off. So up is on. Down is off. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish hooking this up. Right there. And we will see. Do I have any more jungle wood? If I do, I'll put it down. If not, oh, it's going through. I don't know why. Why is that going through? It shouldn't be. It's not getting a pulse. Oh, it's not going through. That must have been stuff already. What happened was, the the before I was testing it, and the filter was already pulling stuff out. So there was probably stuff already in the filter. So that's fine. Um, so yeah, we got this all set up. Let's uh, just put down. Let's put down dirt for now. And what we will do is, we will now use our wonderful, ingenious, maybe one of my favorite items in the game, if I can find it, the Wand of Equal Trade. Love it. So let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll do... Oh, it's planting stuff there. I don't really want it to plant stuff there. Let's, uh, let's knock that up. I don't want it to plant stuff there. Oh, I don't have any wood on me. Um, crap. I forgot you actually need the jungle wood. Uh, damn it. Oh, there's some. So I'll just put that for there for now. 
All right, so, okay. So now we turn this on and it should pull all that stuff out of there. There it goes. There it goes. Now it should come up here any second now. Any second. There's the apples and here comes the wood. Okay, pretty sweet. All right, I, I don't think I'd ever need to turn this off, but you know, it's nice to have a switch there if you can do it. Uh, I don't know how long this video's been running. I know it's been running for longer than I wanted to, so I'm going to cut it here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing between now and next video, but, you know, I'm sure it'll be interesting. I might not do much because uh, things are actually going quite well here. So that's going to be it for part 66, and I'll see you next time for part 67. Till then, take it easy.